Welcome to 5-Minute Friday, everybody, where we share our best tips and tricks to help you get just a little bit better every week. And this week, we're talking about building systems to take action consistently. Eddie, I'm a, I'm a systems nerd. This I know. This I know. <laughs> <laughs> Showed me nuts with them with ABSI. I was just like, constantly, there's a new system. <laughs> constantly. I love it so much, though. I like, know you do. It's so great. It's like this happens, which starts another chain reaction, which causes these other things to fall into place. And we get the outcome that we want every single time. Yes. Consistency, right? Uh, this podcast is a system. Yep. It is a system. And the only reason we were able to release two episodes per week, shout out to our fantastic team. They hold it together. They are a part of this system that we have built. Right. Which is just a paradigm to know what to do. Exactly. Everybody has their lane. Everybody understands what part they own. Mm -hmm. And, And I think I got a little bit muddy at one point with this where I tried to hand too much to people. Uh, yeah. You know, and that's not really a system. Like... I really don't believe that one person is really make makes a really good system. Like one person handed a ton of things. <laughs> it's not very good uh, to to get consistent ex- execution at a high level. You need to kind of split these things up and have everybody in specific buckets. Mm. So I nerd out about this stuff in case you can't already tell. <laughs> yeah. I love these things. But the reason why I lean on systems and processes so much is because I have this little thing. I don't know if you guys have heard of it. It's called ADHD. And I legitimately have the hardest time focusing consistently for a very, very long period of time. I can, I can hyper-focus on things for short periods of time, really hyper-focus in on it. But when it comes to, I'm going to keep up the same routine, keep up the same like editing pattern in my life. I'm going to go edit video. I'm going to go edit audio. I'm going to go do this stuff. I'm going to go, you know, uh, do X, Y, Z every single week, this time, every single week, it's not gonna happen. So I have to rely on my systems because they hold me accountable. And one of the biggest mechanisms for that, and I hate to say it, it's actually meetings. It's actually meetings, but meetings that have the ultimate goal of causing that chain reaction. So I'll, I'll pause for, for questions, snide remarks, and things before I continue. Snide remarks. Because <laughs> I know you've seen, you have seen me like build systems for years, and I know it drives you crazy sometimes. It d- yeah, it does not it doesn't. I'm the grunt. I'm the grunt and get it done guy. Right. I'm just uh we got to muscle up and put our nose in it. Yeah. yeah right. And, and get it done. And, you know, to, which is great. Well, to my own harm, sometimes this is, you know, two edged sword. Right. So mm-hmm. that good work ethic comes with the backside of weakness of I don't establish the process and system early enough, mm-hmm. soon enough. Yeah. Um, establishing the system comes with the backside of weakness of establishing a very robust system for something that we're going to do a grand total of two times, (laughs) which has also happened. It also can come at the cost of creating a whole system around something that is not going to like really pan. Mm -hmm. Um, So there've been a number of things that I'll put in the bucket of, um, Hey, cool. This tool is going to do the thing. So there's yeah. a lot of tool grabs yeah. that come with your systematization of things, your processing of things. Um, all the while when one sticks, it's like, yeah, all right. Your batting average only has to be, you know, maybe one, one in 10, <laughs> you know, to be a net positive type of thing. Um, or potentially, yeah, one, like one amazing process could be a life changer. So. Well, I mean, that was the case with uh, Zapier creating folders in uh, in our work files. So created this uh, this extension that you could put in the name of a new project and hit like enter or go, and it would create all of the different files and folders that we need 
for each one of our projects at ABSI consistently the same way every single time. Mm -hmm. And that became part of our kickoff process. Because one of the things that we realized is that people were creating their own files and folders and they never matched. Everybody's naming them differently. And so there was a system that I put in place for that because it was all over the place. It was all over the place. So we were able to do it quicker at the beginning and consistently every single time. That's the reason I love systems, man. Like it's just, I just nerd out on this stuff. <laughs> I know you do. <laughs> and I will say this, Craig Groeschel who you might have heard of. Yes. He's, a, he's a very well-known pastor. Um, he did a whole podcast on this, and it's uh, it 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 got my systems nerd just absolutely yeah, what was fired that on? up, man. What was that on? I think it was on Entree Leadership. Yes. I, I think it was on Entree Leadership, that podcast. Let's, we'll see if we can find it and post it below. Um, Craig does an amazing job of explaining it, like mm. kind of into the, how he uses it every single day. Um, I haven't really done a good job and we don't really have a ton of time to explain all the different systems and processes that I've set up in my own life, but, um, he does a really good job of distilling all that down. Yeah. So I will, I will just kind of point you in that direction to say, if you're struggling to get things done consistently, a lot of times you can give yourself a system to get yourself moving in the right direction. Sure. Whether that is eating well, whether that is working out. Whether that's, I don't know, like you pick. A weekly meeting. A weekly meeting. I was apologizing to our team, our Shannon, the other day. <laughs> Actually, specifically, I was like, listen, I, I know sometimes these meetings can be like, just like, what are we doing here? Like, are we actually getting anything done? But I'm dead serious. Like, sometimes it, it literally helps me to pause and think about that thing and brainstorm on something with you um, to help us keep the ball moving down the field. Yeah. Keep things getting done. So I know people hate meetings. I get it. I try not to do it too much, but there's an accountability in that. If somebody's sitting there waiting on me, you better be sure. I, like I, I'm going to show up. That is, if, if I have a consistent meeting every week, I'm going to show up. Yeah. There's a time for it. There's a time for it. Um, if I don't have that, then I'm going to skip out. I can't even make meetings with myself. Mm. <laughs> like I'll skip out on the meeting with myself. I say meeting with myself, meaning like a calendar hold to go make content or it. do this thing. Like I will slip up every single time. If I have a person there waiting for me, that's probably the biggest unlock is like having people that they could be part-timers. It doesn't matter. Sure. Um, but that that's super helpful. So we'll link to Craig Groeschel below though. He's he's He really explains it really well. Yeah, that's a good one. Heck yeah. All right, guys. Well, may not have been completely enlightening this week, but I do have a question for you. What systems have you set up in your life, all right? What systems and processes have you set up in your life, in your work, uh, your day-to-day? -day? Like, I would love to hear them. And if you're a nerd like me, I'm sure you'll love sharing them. So <laughs> give us a call and share it, and we would love to talk about it a little bit on the, on the show. So you can call us at 512-THE-BROS. That's 512-THE-BROS. We'll probably link it below as well so you can find it. Thanks, guys. Go build something awesome. Awesome.